up, everybody, and welcome. My name is Corey from Lean Green Dad, and we are here with Kylie Buckner. Kylie, welcome. We're so glad Hi. to have you. Uh, oh, you know, last you. week we promised everybody that we would have you on the show, and we would be making a smoothie bowl together. But boy, oh boy, guys, do we have a big deal for you. Here's what we've got, okay? We are making a sweet black cherry and chocolate smoothie bowl. This is a mastering diabetes approved mm -hmm. smoothie bowl. Also, as you can see, Kylie is not home right now. She's in a hotel room because she's traveling for a friend's wedding. So we're going to talk a little bit about what the heck you do when you're on the road. And we have a very special gift for you that we want to give you. We'll tell you how to get it in just a second. It's a whole guide for making Mastering Diabetes Approved, Smoothie Approved, uh, amazing smoothie bowl. So Kylie, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Oh my gosh, that music was like such a fiesta. We are having, uh, we are on, we're traveling and there's lots of fun things happening. So I feel like it's really in the spirit of where we are right now. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Well, yeah. you know, you know, as we talk about these smoothie bowls, I think that there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of people in the plant-based space that are kind of like, oh, I, I don't know about smoothies. It's a lot of sugar or I don't know that much fruit isn't that good for you at one time. And so I just kind of want to spend just like a minute or two talking about debunking some of those myths tied to sugar and fruit versus added sugar versus white cane sugar and things like that. And just yeah. also maybe before you go into that, Kylie, like, let them know who you are. I mean, you know what you're talking about. Not only are you married to Cyrus, but you have your own uh, degree in nursing and know quite a bit about nutrition. Am I, am I right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And yes, I'm a, I'm a nurse, I'm a registered nurse. I was working in the traditional healthcare world for many, many years and just saw what people were really going through in their health and try, and the challenges that they were facing in their health. And I spent a lot of time working in the hospital setting. And it wasn't until like once I started really diving into plant-based nutrition and plant-based and understanding the plant-based world a little bit more. And I happened to also meet Cyrus around that time. And I got to learn so much more. And I, I really it really supported what I was taught in my nutrition studies back when I was a nursing student over 20 years ago. And yet those concepts of nutrition were never really carried through in my nursing practice until yeah. I met Cyrus and got a chance to start coaching with Mastering Diabetes. And I started working with our clients and applying these principles of plant-based nutrition and showing people what their life could look like on the other side when they go through this journey of transition. And wow, what an incredible experience as a nurse to see people actually be re-empowered to take their health into their hands and take control of their own health. It's been amazing. Brilliant. So, well, we're, yeah. we're just happy to have you. And um, I think that, you know, what I want to do, I, I want to make this thing real quick and show people how to get the smoothie guide. And then I want to come back to you and I want to talk about travel because you might not be able to have all of the things that we have. By the way, I'm going to show you what we need, guys, okay, for this smoothie bowl recipe. You're gonna need um, some milk, all right? And not dairy milk, of course. We would never recommend that you use any dairy milk. We're talking about oat milk, almond milk, soy milk. And the biggest thing is what's up there in the top. It is unsweetened, okay? No sugar added. You don't need any sugar. Just leave it as is. Um, the second thing you're gonna need for this recipe are black cherries. Now, I just got these in bulk from Publix, which is a grocery store that uh, is near me. You're gonna need a banana. You're gonna need some cacao powder. Okay. I've got that. Um, and then some ground flax seed, which I personally don't have right now. I thought I did, but Hey, we're live guys. I don't know where it is. It's lost in the pantry. Um, and then of course, uh, we're going to use some spinach. Uh, and then finally I want you to grab and learn more about, of course, on green. So, um, Kylie, any thoughts yeah. about any of the ingredients that I'm using in here as I'm kind of like building this thing? Yes. Oh my gosh. So many thoughts. First of all, you didn't even know this, but this is my absolute favorite smoothie of all time. It is like- No drinking way. Beach. Yes. And when I was pregnant, I drank this. I'm not kidding you. Every single day. I made this smoothie. It's the exact smoothie every single day. I wow. added a couple of dates for some extra sweetness because yeah. and extra calories because I was pregnant and trying to maximize my calories. But yep. just as is, I make this all the time now and it is absolutely delicious. And I love that combination of the chocolate, the richness of the chocolate and the dark cherries- such a rich yeah. flavor and it's really satisfying. Um, the bananas give it added, you know, vitamins and um, creaminess. So the banana is perfect. Yeah. 
So all of this is great. The antioxidant power of this particular smoothie with the dark cherries, when you think of antioxidants, I always think of dark colors, like bright, dark colors. In fact, I'm drinking an antioxidant smoothie here. Part of my, uh, on my travels, they made me a nice little smoothie to bring for my lunch. And nice. this one is actually a smoothie and has uh, cherries in it, as well as um, other strawberries. And it's bright red in color. So whenever you think about antioxidants and what antioxidants do in our body is they actually help to take away the toxic effects of oxidation. And that's one of the processes that leads to the development of cancer cells. So antioxidants neutralize, or they're kind of like the, almost like that Pac-Man effect, right? They come around and they eat up all those oxidative, all the things that cause oxidative stress. So the more antioxidants you can add into your life, the better and better and better your body's going to be in terms of inflammation and cancer development. So um, you're gonna just have much more strength there. And so, you know, anytime I think of antioxidants, I think of bright red, pink, you know, beets are another great color, anything yeah. really colorful, dark, dark purples. Um, and that's just amazing nutrition. The greens you know, that you just I'll added, I saw you a whole pile of greens in there. I mean, oh, yeah. you just can't get enough greens in your diet from the fiber to the, um, the vitamins and greens the um, amazing um, phytonutrients that are in greens. Again, very powerful for in your um, immune system and cancer fighting. So yep. get those greens it, in. It's a great yeah, way to snake them in. It's all in there, guys. And you know, the red cherries, it, this is going to be dark red, almost like a red velvet cake, this smoothie. And, you know, mm -hmm. I think it's very important too for kids that if you are making something for them, that red color, that bright color, that purple, that red, um, it's going to be big, you know, uh, they might be able to go with orange. I find even my lean green kids, like green stuff, they're like, mm, I don't know. Right. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, it's not that we stop giving them things that are green. That's not what I'm recommending. I'm just saying like, you know, put the green in the red, let the red be that dominant color that takes over. And they, for some reason, associate that with sweet taste, uh, as long as it's sweet coming from the fruit, you should be good to go. So um, I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to blend this and we're going to do our thing. So I have the Vitamix. I love this machine. It just blends up everything. So um, yeah. Fleming. We're muting Corey for the... <laughs> the blending part. So while he's blending, the other thing that he added in there for the sweetness factor is banana. And banana is so important because it does add a creaminess to a smoothie or a smoothie bowl. It adds your um, uh, tons of nutrients, tons of energy. You know, if you're, if you're not, when you add bananas, you're adding energy that will fuel you for the next part of your day. So if you're planning to eat your smoothie bowl for breakfast or lunch, adding more energy and more calorie dense fruits like bananas is really, really, really supportive for you to then have the energy you need for the next part of your day. And that's how I like to think about eating. And that's how I, I teach a lot of the people I've, I've coached in the past is think about planning your meals so that you're eating energy for what you're about to accomplish. So if you're about to go for a workout in the next few hours, or you're going to be busy working, adding more energy in the form of calorie and nutrient dense fruits like bananas is a really great way to accomplish that. Thank you for uh, killing time while I blend it. I love it. Um, everybody, I, I want to let singing, you know, like, we, we, are, we are totally live. Like, guys, this did not come out, like, as red as I wanted it to because I probably tripled the amount of greens. So it's not it's not as red as I wanted, but it's still going to taste amazing. Now, listen. It's low key. Um, I, I, yeah, I, I, it's super healthy, and it tastes great, uh, or it's going to taste yeah. great. I'll test that live, too, and I'll tell you the truth. Now, listen, you're seeing a lot of people comment, Guy, you just saw the comment come across the bottom. Mm -hmm. If you want, uh, we have a beautiful smoothie bowl guide. Fleming, if you have it, let's show them. I don't know if you have it actually upright. Oh, my gosh, he does. Look, guys, Amazing. this smoothie bowl recipe opt-in, all you have to do, just tell us where to send it, and we will send it right to you. Guys, it's eight smoothie bowls that are going to blow your mind. They are so delicious. And so good. Again, this one, sweet black cherry and chocolate. Okay. I'm going to pour it in again. It's come, it's come out as it's like more, a brown. It looks like yeah. Brown. The greens will do that a little for sure. It's my fault. It's my fault. I'm like, oh no, I made a brown smoothie, but we're live it's guys. Okay. And that's what I get for adding too many greens. But <laughs> I'm going to be super happy. Listen, the, cocoa, gonna... the cacao right. powder will also make Oh, the... you're totally right. The cacao yeah, powder. The yeah. It's a tablespoon. So. 
Mm. Like chocolate. It just means you're drinking a chocolate, like chocolate milk shake. It actually <laughs> is the dominant, the dominant flavor is the chocolate. Now, Kylie, why is it okay to actually add chocolate powder like that to your smoothie? Like how is that, how is cacao beneficial? Do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, cacao also is a rich antioxidant, has lots of really great nutrient value in that sense. Um, right. There's lots of, um, you know, you're going to add those additional antioxidants in and get the flavor of chocolate. Like who here does not like chocolate? You know, and when yeah. people think about making dietary changes, a lot of times what comes up is like, oh my gosh, I could never give up eating chocolate or yeah. the things that you love that you've been eating and consuming in a very unhealthy way or maybe not as optimal a way, right? Like the candy bar aisle or, you know, when Halloween rolls around and we're eating like tons of those, you know, little mini candy bars. I mean, there's a lot of times that you can eat things that aren't going to serve you. And instead you can make something like this smoothie bowl that's actually going to give you the flavor of chocolate and you get to keep those flavors in your life and continue to make healthy choices one at a time. And that's what these smoothies, I mean, this whole guide is full of all different types of flavors. So if there's a specific flavor you like, you're probably going to get your palate met <laughs> in the yeah. smoothie guide. Yeah. You'll love it. I mean, there's, there's so many, so there's so many different flavors, guys, and I'm going to just read some of the flavors to you. Um, I have them in a meeting that I or in a meeting. I have them in a message that I sent to Cyrus earlier. So listen to these. Um, you've got a breakfast power bowl that has kiwi, banana, frozen pineapple. You've got a mama sapote, mommy sapote smoothie mommy. bowl. Most people don't know about mommies. I know me too. You guys turn me on to those. I love these things. They're amazing. Yeah. Butternut squash, peach, mango smoothie. You've got a watermelon cocoa bowl. You've got the one that I just made, strawberry spinach smoothie bowl, pumpkin spice bowl. I mean, guys, this is, it's delicious. Check it out. There was a product that I added in there. It was really quick. Kylie mm -hmm. was talking while I was doing it, but it went by quick. It is Omla Green, okay? And Omla Green is an antioxidant rich powerhouse. If you are looking to promote immunity, Protect yourself with a force field of awesomeness. If you are looking to help lower your, uh, or promote healthy blood sugar and heart health, lower your cholesterol, things like that, this product is absolutely amazing. So I want you to check it out. Kylie, can you tell me, because Cyrus actually founded this product, can you tell me a little bit more about how you use it in your daily life and kind of what is that Indian gooseberry that is the main ingredient inside of Omla Green? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Indian gooseberries are so powerful at reducing um, overall inflammation. Also, they've been put to the test in studies where they've shown to be just as powerful, if not more powerful, in reducing cholesterol and blood glucose levels than medications that you would get prescribed by your physician. So wow. there's an incredible power behind these gooseberries. And for many years, while we were you know, coaching people and working with people, we would tell people to go and get um, gooseberry juice or um, amla juice you could buy at grocery stores because in some parts of the world people eat amla gooseberries or gooseberries or amla berries um, as part of their normal diet as part of their regular diet you know in our western world they're not as common for us so we'd have to seek them out a little bit more different you know in a different way so we would tell people to drink this amla juice and <laughs> It, we used to do it. We used to drink it. And we would do little shots of these of this omelet juice. And it was awful. I mean, we literally would have to like psych ourselves up. We'd be standing in the kitchen in the morning being like, okay, you do it. No, you do it. No, you do it. <laughs> and so one, one day there was this idea of like, well, how do we get this to people in a way that's palatable and also creates an experience? And that's where omelet green came in because people really, a lot of people really like drinking a beverage in the morning, whether it's tea or coffee or a smoothie or some other type of morning ritual. And that was how the whole idea started. And um, it was really fun to start like playing around with tea flavors and what types of tea. And we ended up with green tea. And so omelet green came to life and that was the original version. And then I got really excited about the idea of make, making some new flavors because amla in itself has is so rich in antioxidants. Um, but then you can add things to it. You, because you can add amla green to so many things, um, like smoothies, like we add it to every smoothie we make. We add it to sauces. We add it to 
um, you know, sometimes I'll, even salad dressings, like there's not a strong flavor to it. So if I'm making salad dressings, I'll just sprinkle a little scoop in my, in my dressing maker and I'll shake it up. Um, I add it to soups to, you know, so, um, I make like a lot of things with beans and rice and sometimes you can just toss it right in there as you're making your, you know, your rice. I know you were, you were making that rice and beans earlier. So, you know, you can just toss it right in there. It's a special secret ingredient. Nobody, and you really don't notice the flavor when you're using other ingredients that are going to give the power of the flavor for that meal. Yes, it is, Meg. Oh, it's organic. Absolutely organic. That's right. Every yep. ingredient is organic. And so over the time, we started playing around with different flavors because not everybody loves the flavor of green tea. And um, then also, I think it's really fun to have variety. And so the new blends of Lama Green have all different types of flavors. There's one that's an elderberry flavor, and that's designed with more of the immune support in mind. There's um, zinc in that one. There's, uh, yeah, that's, it's purple. It's because it's antioxidant rich. Um, it's, it got zinc. It's got, um, oh my gosh, I'm going to like, of course, off the top of my head, I can't remember, but there's a lot of immune supportive ingredients. Vitamin C is in there added, um, lots of immune support in the ama green elderberry. And then the one right next to it on the screen that you see the sort of brownish color one, that's our ama green, um, pumpkin spice, which is just a really fun way to get the flavors of, Either some people like the flavor of the fall. I like to I like to play around with the seasonal omelet omelet green, um, but also you get your flavors of um, some cinnamon and cardamom and almost like a chai tea in a way. And then on right above that, the the sort of dark red one. That one is our hibiscus, and that one I have to say was one of my one was one of the first ones. I think that was the very first one that came out that was different from Amla Green. And that yeah. one is made from hibiscus tea. So um, these are the these are herbal blends. So that means that they're um, they don't have caffeine in them, the herbal blends. Um, and that's very important to some people. Um, they also um, just are very rich and also they have added ingredients which are going to add more support for any dietary strategy. Yeah. Well I really appreciate you sharing that story. You know, guys, we, we come on here every week and we're making some kind of recipe. You do not have to buy this product, okay? We feel though that we are doing a disservice if we do not mention this product to you because it has been so beneficial for thousands mm -hmm. of customers that have bought it, that are struggling with things like cholesterol and blood pressure mm -hmm. and their A1C and blood sugar and things like that. Truthfully, mm -hmm. um, I, I think I've had her on the show before, guys, but my mom changed her entire numbers and the only thing she changed was adding Alma Green into her life. So it's my personal mom, I'm telling you, this is no joke. So um, Meg, is there a variety Great. that helps more than regular Alma? Um, did you read that already, Kylie? Do you know the answer to that? I saw it. Yes. So, you know, I think the one thing that we all really gained a lot of insight to with the whole experience of COVID was that our immune systems are really in need of as much support as we can possibly give them, right? No matter what day of the week it is. Um, and so the elderberry immune support is absolutely a fabulous addition because it's got the zinc, it's got... Um, you know, which is so supportive of immune, immune health. It's kind of, like, why am I blanking on these? I'm my vacation mind. Um, the ingredients. Yeah, I know, it's, that, um, uh, it's got the vitamin C. It's got really important things that are going to help support your whole immune system. And um, if you're living with long COVID, um, that one is going to be the best. You also are going to get the benefit of the AMLA for your blood glucose. So, yeah. you know, people living who are living with diabetes and see high glucose numbers, when they start adding AMLA in, they see very significant reductions in their blood glucose on the regular. I mean, we see this all, all the time. Um, people who live with type 1 diabetes who inject insulin will often notice a more regular blood glucose pattern throughout the day when they've added their amla green in. And um, that's very repeatable. Like we've seen this over and over and over again. I've worked with many, many, many people living with type 1 diabetes. As you know, Cyrus, my husband lives with type 1 diabetes. Um, and so we have seen this happen for people so much that we, it, like Corey said, it, we feel irresponsible not sharing how important this product is for people in their lives. Um, and, you know, the, uh, the nice thing is that the amount of AMLA in each of the blends is the same. 
So you're going to get the maximum benefit of amla no matter which variety you choose. So, you know, I would say if you're looking for a specific meat or a specific flavor, don't worry about which flavor or variety you choose because you're going to get the benefit of the, of the amla regardless. Yeah. And the truth is, is like, guys, there is no limit to it. Like you can consume as much as you want because it's food. Um, there, you know, I, I have it three times a day. I have it in my coffee in the morning. I have it at lunch in a salad or a salad dressing. And then at night I'll do, you know, one of the teas guys, just so you know, the, the classic flavor, um, is, uh, the only one with, uh, caffeine in it. And that is the green, the classic flavor. Um, and then we also have every other one is decaf. Every single other one has no caffeine in it. The caffeine that's in the one that is the, the classic version, the green bottle, um, is about, you know, 50% of the cup of a uh, cup of coffee. So less than 40, you know, milligrams of caffeine. So really not a big deal. And it's from green tea. So you're not going to experience that crash. So for me, I actually add that one to my coffee and I call it my on the green. I call it my super coffee in the morning. Uh, <laughs> I, love that. I, I, I love it. I, I have one cup. I have, you know, my omelet mm-hmm. green scoop. I also put a little bit of lion's mane mushroom in there for, you know, mm-hmm. brain stuff. And then um, I have, you know, a little bit of my, um, you know, vegan coffee creamer and uh, and it's good. So everything's cool. Um, That's great. Guys, again, I, I want to make sure that we remind you to go to that site below and get, get your guide. Mm-hmm. It's a free smoothie bowl guide. You do not have to have the omelet green product to use it. It'll give you some great ideas. But um, go in there and, and check it out. And uh, holy cow, we're, we're so honored that you're here watching us. And Kylie, thanks for coming to the show, for sure. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much. Yeah, it was super okay. fun. And I, uh, I saw somebody comment earlier. They asked a question if they can put in their oatmeal. And absolutely, yes. We put in oh, oatmeal. Yeah. We, I like to make um, like oatmeal banana pancakes. And um, I sprinkle some of the, um, the pumpkin, pumpkin spice, spice one in those. Yeah. It's amazing. It's an amazing, yeah, this it's is a the, great combination. Yeah, that's the pumpkin, pumpkin spice version, guys. And it just smells amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pumpkin season all day, all year long for me. I just love it. So, yeah. All yeah. right, guys. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Uh, much love to all of you. Make sure you get your smoothie yeah. bowl. Kylie, have a great day. And, thank you. Uh, you thanks too. Again, everybody. Have a great Bye, weekend. Guys. Everyone. Take care.